Hi, my name is Mary, and I'm here at the sewing room in Tucson, Arizona, to speak with you today about the Bernina overlocker machines. The overlocker, or the serger as it is more commonly known, was invented in 1868 in Hartford, Connecticut, for the purpose of finishing the top end of knit socks. In the, in the 1900s, we started seeing it in factories for the construction of garments. In fact, if you're wearing a store-bought garment right now, take a look at the seam inside. That is probably an overlock seam that you are looking at. In the 1980s, the machines became available for the home sewer, and in the early 90s, I purchased one so that I could sew clothing for my children. At that time, I had three children under the age of five, and the thought of taking them to the store to buy clothing was a thing of nightmares. So instead, I took them to the fabric store. They had a wonderful selection of knits, and I had a lot of fun creating t-shirts and shorts for them to run around in. I'm sitting in front of the Bernina L460 and L450 overlocker machines. These are four thread machines, and they can do stitches that require four threads, three threads, or even two threads. We call them the microwave sewing machine because of the speed and efficiency at which it runs. With this machine, you can construct your seam, trim your seam, and overcast the seam, all while stitching at 1,200 to 1,500 stitches per minute. The overlocker machine operates a little bit differently than your sewing machine. Let's take a look inside. The first thing you'll notice is there is not a bobbin. That's because the machine works with loopers that carry thread to knit together with the needle threads to create your overlock stitch. You have a handy threading diagram here, and you have lay-in tension dials that make it easy to thread. Now you may be looking at this machine saying, I don't know if I can thread that, but not to worry. The sewing room staff is here to help you when you purchase your machine, they will teach you how to thread the machine, and they're available at any time to answer your questions. And I don't like to say that the overlocker is hard to thread. I like to say that it's different. It's like learning how to use a new kitchen appliance. You just have to practice. You'll see in the door that you have all of the tools that you will need for your surging sewing time. You've got tweezers, a needle holder and threader, and a screwdriver for removing the needle, and a place for your extra needles. My favorite part is this little foam pad, and I think you have a clue as to what that's for. That's where we place our needles when we remove them from the machine. So let's see how this works. So let's run a stitch and see what it looks like. Do you notice how quiet the machine is? And this is a balanced overlock seam. You have your needle stitches along the side, and then your looper stitches go over the top and the bottom of your fabric. A balanced stitch is when our looper threads are meeting right on the edge. But should it happen that they don't, we have a control here called the micro thread control that will fine tune the stitch so that it is perfectly balanced. As I mentioned before, I purchased my first overlocker so that I could sew knit garments. The overlocker loves knits. Let's do a couple of seams and see why. So here we have a seam that was stitched on knit fabric. Now there's a little bit of a wave here, and that happens because the presser foot is pressing down on the knit and stretching it. And we can easily remedy that with our differential feed, which is over here on the side. I'm just going to bring it up to about 1.5 because it was just a little bit of a wave, and the differential feed has adjusted the front feed dogs to account for the stretch in the material. So let's stitch that again. Okay. 
And now as we look at our seam, we can, the one side was a little bit wavy, but this one is not lying nice and flat. This makes knits a breeze to sew on. Now the differential feed can also do something very interesting with our woven fabrics. I'm going to bring it up to two. I'm going to lengthen my stitch and I'm going to increase the tension on my needles just a little bit. And now I have a single layer of cotton fabric that I'm going to put through the machine. And voila, the result is a beautiful gather. Now, if you do garment sewing where they ask you to do gathering, say on a skirt, you're probably told that you need to run two lines of straight stitching and then pull the bobbin thread. Well, with two needles already in the machine and the adjustments that we made, we can get the, ga the gathering in one step. To take it a step further, we can add the gathering foot to the machine. And with this gathering foot, we can gather fabric and sew it to a flat piece of fabric and overcast the edges all in one stitch, as I have done on this pillowcase. We see the top is flat and the bottom is gathered, and it was all done with one pass. The reason that a lot of folks get an overlocker machine is to create rolled hems, and that is the finish that we see on this napkin here. Let me show you how that works. I have removed the left needle from the machine, and I have tightened the lower looper tension, and I have pulled back the stitch finger. The end result of this is that the lower looper thread is going to pull the upper looper thread to the back of the fabric, and the stitch finger being removed is going to allow the fabric to curl under. So now we can get a beautiful rolled hem. Isn't that gorgeous? Now roll hems are not just for napkins. Makes a beautiful finish on a silk scarf or on any fine fabric that you may be sewing on, or you can do it on knits. So here's a little onesie that I purchased at the store. And on the back side, I did a series of rolled hems. So now I've taken this store-bought onesie and stepped it up a notch got a ruffle butt and will be an adorable gift for a little girl. If you're a quilter, you may be wondering how an overlocker machine can apply to you. So let me give you a couple of ideas. Are you a pre-washer of your fabric? Have you taken the fabric out of the dryer and then had to get your snips out to cut all the threads that have wrapped themselves around the fabric? Well, before you wash your fabric, take it to the overlocker and surge those raw edges. Then you will no longer have that problem of ravelly fabric. When your quilt is completed with the quilting, but before the binding, surge the four sides of your quilt. This will compress the fabrics together and make it a lot easier to bind. And finally, consider using the overlocker for a quilt as you go project. Here's an example. If you have done quilt as you go quilts, you know that it is a process of layering your fabrics and battings together so that when you are done sewing, it's already quilted. This is a great method for making that quick quilt that you're gonna take on a picnic or for the grandkids for building their forts. I would like to show you some other feet that you can attach to your overlocker to get some unique stitching effects. We've already talked about the gathering foot. This allowed us to gather fabric and stitch it to a flat piece of fabric all at the same time. This foot is the elasticator. With this foot, we can insert narrow elastic into our serge seam. This is a piece of knit fabric where I surged elastic in, around the edges to make a quick crib sheet for my granddaughter. If you like to make bags, the elasticator foot would be great to attach elastic to the top of interior pockets to prevent items in the pockets from falling out into your bag. It's also great for inserting elastic into cuffs of sleeves. The blind hem foot 
is perfect for blind hems. This is another hemming technique. You will have stitches showing on the outside, but on the inside of your hem, the edge will be overcast. My favorite foot is the multi-purpose foot. It has a groove along the top and a groove along the bottom. This foot is perfect for inserting zippers, as I did on this vinyl bag. The zipper was inserted and the raw edges finished all in one step. It's also great for inserting piping. And then if you want to get really fancy, the top groove will hold beads or sequins, and you can attach those to embellish your fabric. Are you getting excited about all the wonderful things that you can do with your overlocker? I know I am. Now I would like to talk to with you about the differences between the Bernina L460 overlocker and the Bernina L450 overlocker. They both do 16 different stitches, but there are some very nice features on the L460 that I want to point out to you. First of all, the L460 comes standard with the slide on table. I love having this extra support for my fabric while I am stitching. This table is an optional accessory for the L450. Next, we have a security light. Notice that it's red. That's because my presser foot is up and the machine will not let me sew. The red light will also show if your front cover is open. I love how my machine saves me from myself. Next, look at all of this lighting. I don't know about you, but as my eyes mature, I need every bit of light that I can get and this amount of light is just perfect. Next, we have the freehand system, or the knee lift. Now, if you own a Bernina sewing machine, you have a Bernina freehand system on that machine and you know the advantages of it. When it is installed and I'm ready to stitch, I will place my fabric in front of the foot, use my knee to swing the bar over, and the foot will raise and I've got both hands on the fabric to position it exactly where I want it. The motor on the Bernina L460 is a DC motor. What this gives you is total stitch control. The, after the machine is done stitching, it is going to stop with the needles in the up position, and this is where we want them if we need to re-thread or start another bit of fabric in the machine. But if I wanted the needle to go down, all I need to do is press on the heel of my foot control and the needle will plant in the fabric. Now, does this foot control look familiar to you? If you're a Bernina owner, it should because it is the exact same foot control that we have on our Bernina sewing machines. On the side of the machine, the power cord and the plug for the foot control are the exact same type of connection on our Bernina sewing machines. And let me tell you why this is so fabulous. Say I've been sewing on my 880 and now I'm ready to do some surging. I place my overlocker next to my machine, I unplug the power cord and the foot control from my sewing machine and attach it to my overlocker. That saves me from having to crawl on the floor behind my cabinet avoiding the dust bunnies looking for the power outlet. Whether you're a garment sewer, a quilter, or a little bit of everything sewer, you're going to find that the overlocker will be the perfect fit in your sewing room for any of your projects. Now I have three other overlockers that I would like to show you that are in our Burnett line. I love it that Bernina gives us so many options to accommodate so many different budgets with their overlocker machines. This machine is the Burnett B42 cover stitch machine. It's a little bit different than the other overlockers because of the types of stitches that it makes. With this machine, you will be able to stitch professional hems on your garments. The raw edge is finished, and then the hem is stitched in one step. If you're wearing a t-shirt right now, take a look at the hem. On one side, you may see two or three rows of straight stitching, and on the other side, you will see the loops. That is a cover stitch. When you pair this machine with any of our overlockers, you will have a dynamic duo in your sewing room. This is the Burnett B44. This functions like the L450 and L460 that I showed you earlier. How are you gonna know which one is for you? Well, you're just going to have to come by and give them a test spin and see for yourself. 
This last machine is the Burnett B48. It's a combination machine because it does both the overlock stitching that we've seen on the B44 and it does a cover stitch. So if space is an issue in your sewing room, this might be the machine for you. I hope that you have enjoyed learning a little bit more about the Bernina Overlocker machines. If you have any questions or would like to give them a test drive, please give the sewing room a call or stop by. We would love to help you decide which machine is the best one for you.